Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Look, I've been traveling a lot, so I apologize for the last week or two not really yeah. dropping any YouTube videos. I went to introduce my man, Ryan Brunton. What's going on, everybody? Guys, look, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a role play video. Look, everybody loves role play. Why? Because in sales and closing, objection handling is so important, all right? We just got done at the last Master Closer Seminar. I did a tally up. I literally have 478 objections and how to overcome them. So anything and everything you guys need, I got you. I'm about to bust Ryan up a little bit. And by the way, I got some really good objections that we really haven't trained over before. This is going to be great stuff that's going to help you make more money and close more deals. Before we start, I want to do something real quick. If you need any kind of help, if you want to reach out to us, you know you guys can text me at any time. There's two ways to always stay in contact with me. Number one, my name obviously is Andy Elliott, okay? Number two, my cell phone is 918. 210-0254. You guys take that number. You shoot me a text message. I will help you with anything that you need. I don't care if you're getting into the car business, you've been a month in the car business, or you've been doing this for 20 years. I'll help you elevate your game in whatever area you need help in. I got you. And by the way, let me type this real quick. Look, Facebook group. I have a killer Facebook group. It's called Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. Guys, just go to Facebook, check it out, join the group. It's inspiring, it's crazy, it's through the roof. Let's get to the overcoming objections. All right, so we're gonna start with number one. Number one is gonna be, hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. I have three more cars I wanna go look at. So how I train is I build a scenario. So. Ryan, I got the 2018 Toyota Corolla, yeah. right? It's got 30,000 miles. <laughs> he just test drove me on it. Mm -hmm. And basically, Ryan asked me to buy the car. Yep. And I say, hey, Ryan, I appreciate it, man. But look, man, I, I got three more cars I want to go look at. Yeah, I completely understand, Andy. Let's say you already checked out the other three vehicles, and mine was the last one you were looking at. What would be the deciding factor in which vehicle you would purchase? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal you got on it, or the car you got the best deal on? Well, it'd probably be the best deal I got. Exactly. So let me show you a five-minute proposal of all the facts and figures. In the end, it's completely your decision. Is that fair? There you go, guys. See, I took his hand right there, and he stuck it out. Boom. Guess what? It moves him on. Hey, good job. He said, hey, let's say you already gone and seen the other three vehicles. And this one right here. Or let's say you had already gone and seen those other cars, yep. right? Or somebody says, hey, I got one more car I want to look at. Whatever. You use the work track, and you understand it, that it's like, hey, let's say you had already gone and seen that other vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. You place future expectations with them. And you say, and then this was the last car you went and looked at. What do you think would be the determining factor or the deciding factor to actually which car you'd actually end up owning in the end? Mm -hmm. Would it be the car itself regardless of the deal? Did you watch his hands? Nobody's going to say regardless of the deal, okay? <laughs> we give them multiple choice because it's a way that we move. It's a funnel. And that's why we're creating and teaching you guys to become the most elite salespeople in the country. Or he says, or would it be the great deal the dealership's willing to give you? See my head? Or would it be the great deal the dealership's willing to give you? And guess what? They're like, oh, it'd be the great deal. But what if they said, well, it'd be the car. I think it would be the car. You're saying, oh, okay, cool. So it'd be the car. So you're saying, even if it was 10000 over what you want to pay, you'd still take it? Oh, no. So it would be the deal. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Guys, this is a good one. Let's keep moving. Ryan, good job, bro. All right, all right. Number two. Hey, Ryan, look, man, I appreciate it. Guys, we're at the negotiations table. All the numbers are laid out. Price, trade, payment, okay. everything, all right? I say to Ryan, hey, Ryan, man, look, it, it's getting late. I'm just going to come back tomorrow. Yeah, I would say, hey, Andy, look. Nobody plans on the most ideal time to buy a car, and you're already here. That shows me you're extremely interested in purchasing a vehicle. And like I said, nobody plans on the most ideal time to buy a car. It just happens, okay? We're already 99% done with the deal, and I'm extremely fast getting this last 1% done. Let me show you how fast I'm this last part done for you. Okay, cool. So the bottom line is, and I'm just going to say this to you, right? There's only going to be two reasons why someone says I want to roll out of here. Number one, it's a stall. Yeah. A stall is like, I'm about to buy something, so what I want to do is just bolt because I know I'm about to buy and go to your finance office. Mm -hmm. Number two, 
it could be one of the deals that maybe something's wrong with the deal and yeah. they're trying to roll out. Yeah. And at that point they say, well, I know, but it is really getting late. And you could say, Hey, you know, when people tell me it's really getting late, what I've learned is that something's wrong with the deal. Mm -hmm. What is it that concerns you the most? Is it the price, the trade or the payment? Which one? Mm -hmm. Then you could actually guide them and roll them into that one. Absolutely. Hey, good job, Ryan. All right, I love this one. Guys, I, look, I got some good ones. I'm going to give you a sneak peek real quick. Okay. Let's just do this. Number three is going to be, I promise to dealer down the road that I give him a shot at my business and I'm going to keep my my word. Oh, let's see how he handles that one. <laughs> Number four, I'm going to sell my car outright. So I get, because I get more money for selling it outright. We're going to see what he says. I need to talk to my dad before I make a decision. I'm going to grab a bite to eat before we finish the deal. I'm starving. Come on, man. Nice try. You're not going to get us. Right. And then I don't want to settle right without getting all the options I want. With the COVID-19 right now going on and stuff, inventory has been really slim. Mm -hmm. So we've had to sell from what we have. So if you don't have the perfect car, you're not going to card them and say, hey, when I get it in, I'll call you. Nope. We're going to show you how to get around that, okay? So we got some really neat objections, some great stuff that's going to help you guys make lots of money. And by the way, if you like this YouTube video, if you like the role-playing ones, comment below. Let me know how he's doing. Let me know if you like it. If you like more role play videos, I'll make more of them yeah. for you. I swear I'll make them every damn day. I got 478 <laughs> objections. I can make them all for you, okay? And on top of that, share this with the friend. If you got a buddy in the car business, send it over to him. Let him train on it. I yeah. appreciate you guys. And give us a thumbs up on the video, okay? So, hey, Ryan, look, man. I appreciate you showing me the 2018 Toyota Corolla with 30,000 miles. I love it. You just asked me to buy it, but I said, hey, man, Ryan, I promised a dealer down the road that I'd give him a shot at my business, and I kind of want to stick to my word. Yeah, I totally understand, Andy. And when you say the word promise, what that reminds me of is the ultimate promise I make to all my customers. Andy, ask me if your wife broke down on the side of the road or she was stuck stranded with a flat tire. Ask me if I'd immediately drop everything I was doing and I'd immediately go help her. Ask me. Uh, would you go and absolutely help? I promise okay look I'm here if you go down the street that salesman's not gonna be me okay look you're here the cars here I'm here guys let's do business hey 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 <laughs> come on man <laughs> guys this is the good life man objection handling I love it all right number four hey man Ryan whoa I think I can get more for my trade-in I think I'm gonna sell it out right yeah. Andy, I have two questions for you. Number one, have you ever sold a vehicle outright on your own lately? Uh, maybe a couple years ago. Yeah. And so number two, what's more important to you? A little bit more money for your trade or your safety? You see what I mean is, would you be comfortable with a stranger driving you and your vehicle around? And especially during COVID, look, 90% of customers want to drive a vehicle before they buy it. It's just a little bit scary, right? You can't put a price on safety, but if you could, it has to be worth at least 1500 bucks, two grand, whatever the difference is between the trade and the price they're looking for. Good job, man. That was great. Hey, and by the way, guys, look, when somebody says I want to, I want to sell my car outright, what about if he says, Hey, you know what? I sold my car outright a couple years ago and I did pretty well. Yeah. So I'd say, Hey Andy, would you agree? Times have changed since then? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, the fact is things have changed since then. You know, remember when you could go to a good old American ball game with your family and now you have to wear a mask to say six feet apart just to get your groceries for the week. Fact is things have changed since then. In the past, like I said, you selling a vehicle, all right. In the past, that was completely normal. Look, just like how the world changed guys, we've changed. We found a better way to do it. Okay. And I know obviously your father and your face, your family's safety and, pri and health is their number one priority. And you wouldn't be willing to put that at risk for just a little bit extra money. Am I right? Hey, guys, come on, baby. Let's go. Come guys. on, man. Are you guys getting jacked up out there? You know what I'm saying? Do people put these videos out for free? No, man. By the way, if you want to become great at objection handling, if you want to become great at objection handling, do me a favor. Ryan, give me your cell phone number, your personal cell phone number. Here we what go. 760. Oh, 760. 705. 705. 6391. 6391. I want you to see this. 760 705 6391. By the way, guys, Ryan works for me. Yeah. Okay. Just to let you know, I have five guys or my soldiers. We all work together. Okay. Every morning we do role playing for 20 minutes. I'll take, you know, basically 500 objections and I'll pick them from the stack and I'll bust yeah. them. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Every morning for 20 minutes, okay? Yep. 
I taught him how to handle the objections the exact same way he's doing this. Product of your training. Okay. He is a product of my training. So my goal is, is that my goal is, as I'm the trainer, he's one of my coaches Mm -hmm. and my goal is to have him help coach you so you can crush it. If you would like Ryan to help coach you on some word tracks, teach you some stuff, guess what? Shoot him a text. This is his real cell phone number. He's got a real number. Yeah, 760-705-6391. We're the only business in the world that we ain't afraid to put our number out there because guess what? If you're crazy, right? If you really ain't doing business, (laughs) you don't want to grow, we'll just hang up. If you want to really grow, you're tied in with the best sales trainer in the country Mm -hmm. and some of the best coaches, okay? Welcome to the Elliott Group. All right. Let's roll to the next one, okay? Number number five is going to be, I need to talk to my dad before I make a decision. So it's going to kind of go like this. Hey, price, trade, payment, it's all out on the table. I say, mm-hmm. hey, Ryan, man, you know, honestly, man, I think I want to talk to my dad before I do something. Yeah. Andy, you probably already know what your dad's going to say, right? He's going to say, it's your car, and you're going to have to be happy with it. You already said you loved the vehicle when we drove it. So yeah. let's... Hey, it's all right. Let's roll. Okay. Listen, Hey, I need to talk to my dad before I make a decision. Mm -hmm. Think about it. And by the way, listen to me. This is, is this real live role play? Yeah. Yeah, This is how it works. Hey, number one, we already know what your dad's going to say, right? Your dad's going to say it's your car, right? And you're going to have to be happy with it. Okay. That we always start there because we know that's what dads are going to say. And then we go into reaffirming and I already saw your eyes light up on the test drive. You love the vehicle. You told me you loved it outside. So we know you love the car. So look, let's save you some time and go ahead and get it wrapped up. Plus Mm -hmm. your dad will be proud of you for making a decision on your own. Now look, let me get your driver's license insurance. Let me get your car cleaned up. Thank you so much for your business and just move through it. Now listen. We're humans just like you. Yeah. As you got I, me on that one. I know I got, you, got you. Hey, hey, but watch this. You knew where you wanted to go. Yeah. And you got stumped. Yeah. But you know what happened? You know why I won't delete that? You know why I'll show that he's a real human being? Because some people have edited clips. One of the things that you'll learn on my channel is we don't edit anything. Nope. You know why? Because you don't get the chance to edit a car deal. You don't, man. Look, man, he'll know that one tomorrow. Yeah, I guarantee That's that. for sure. But the idea of it is, I want you to see that, man, we're, we're, no, salespeople aren't born. We're made, yeah. okay? And we're made by creating ourselves through word tracks, okay? All right. So, hey, listen, by the way, don't ever sweat it. <laughs> we're going to always sometimes stump up, but I want you to be able to come back around, yeah. flip it, and pull through. And by the way, your don't customers don't know. Yeah, never get triggered, okay? Your customers don't know when you mess up, okay? All right, number six. This is going to be, I'm going to grab a bite to eat before we finish the deal, I'm starving. Okay. Mm-hmm. All the, all the numbers are on the table, Ryan, price, trade payments. I said, Hey Ryan, you know what, man? I think, I think we're just going to get something to eat real quick, man. We're starving. Okay. We finish it. Yeah. I've been doing this a long time. And what I've learned when someone says they want to go get some food after viewing the numbers is there's actually something wrong with the deal. What is that's concerning you the most? Would it be the price, the payment or the trade in? Mm, probably be the price, man. We really don't like the price. Okay. And when you say the price is too high, do you mind being more specific? Why do you believe the price is too high? Okay, good. All right. Well, I don't know. I just think maybe if you could come down maybe a thousand or something, you know, we probably have a deal to make. Okay. And then there you go. Yeah. Hold on. I'm not going to stop them because that would be closing. Yeah. Okay. Objection handling is this. The objection was, Hey, I'm starving. I want to go get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. The objection came in. We didn't stick to the objection. We were allowed to move through the objection so we can move on with the deal. Yeah. That's all objection handling is. Most people stick to the objection. Like, hey, hey, man, I'm starving. I want to go get something to eat. Hey, man, you know, I mean, I mean, I, look, I'll, I'll get some food. How about that? I'll buy. Let me get some food right now. How about that? Whoa, why are you sticking to the food objection, man? Yeah. Roll through it. Don't stick. Why, dude, if I ever see this again, <laughs> hey, man, we're, we're starving. We'll get some food, man. Hey, you know what? Let me get the keys. I'll put a tag on it, and you can take my car to go get something to eat. Oh, dude, God. why don't you just overcome it, man? Over-freaking-come mm-hmm. it. Move through the objection. Close the deal. Guys, if they're really hungry, we think they'd rather go get a short lunch that's crappy. You think they'd rather go finish the deal and go have a nice lunch and enjoy their new car. Which one? Probably that one. And by the way, learn to rephrase questions. Hey, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Hey, when you say you're hungry, what I hear is that you're you're probably hungry, number one, but also time's important to you, right? So you wouldn't have time to go get something to eat. Am I right? Sure. Cool. So if I could actually speed up the time since we're 99% done with the deal, Mm -hmm. finishing this last 1%, I'm really good at handling that last part. If I could handle that extra quick, that actually give you enough time to really sit down and have a nice meal. Mm -hmm. And if you're really hungry, wouldn't that sound better? Yeah. Sounds fair. Yeah. 
Word tracks, word tracks. This right here, this is the missing, the lost art of the car business. It breaks my heart to see salespeople miss opportunities every single day. We're killing that. You guys team with me, you're going to be the best in the world. Yeah. Okay. And this right here, this is just baby food, guys. This is baby food. I do master closer seminars every single month. I teach people how to close any deal, anytime, any place, anywhere. Mm -hmm. We overcome hundreds of objections yeah. all the way through. These people change and leave here complete different people, totally recreated. It's insane, which is how my man Ryan yep. works for me and how he changed. By the way, he sounds like tons of people that have trained with me here in the lion's den and they go back home. By the way, I got tons of courses too. So if you ever need some help, maybe with an online training program, you can reach out to us. We'll help you with it. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and by the way, word tracks, you can call Ryan, hit Ryan up, say, Hey Ryan, how do I handle this objection? Yep. Um, but you can text us on, on the normal text line. That's fine. But him, He's really good at overcoming objections. He's got them memorized. Why? Because he, he paid the rent and put the work in. Mm -hmm. All my coaches have. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm telling you this, you want to make three, 400 grand a year? You can do it. Okay. Nothing's impossible. You just can't be interested. You got to be committed. If you're committed, join us. Yeah. All right. Let's go to number seven. Okay. This is going to be one. It, 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 it's probably one of my favorite. It says, I don't want to settle without getting all the options I want. And let me tell you why it's my favorite. I love these other ones. These are, these are, these come up all the time, but even if you're on a new car or on a used car, you always have somebody that's like, wah, wah, wah. I would like to have this. Mm -hmm. This is a good way to handle that and try to move through it. And guess what? By the way, no objection handling works a hundred percent of the time, but it can work 80%. And if you had something that worked 80% of the time, then guess what? If that didn't handle it, then I would come back at you from a different way. But most people don't have no way. So they end up you know what, collecting 20, 30% closing ratio yep. instead of 70 to 80% closing ratio. It's do the math. It's a numbers game, guys. This is what we're going to do. Hey, Ryan, listen, man. Look, I love the car, man. Yeah. The Corolla is a beautiful car. The miles are where we want them, but, but we really wanted a summer. So I really don't want to spend the money on something that doesn't have all the features that I want. Okay, cool. But Andy, money's obviously important to am I right? Yeah, no, money's real important. Yeah. If you could choose two grand cash, two grand cash in the bank account, or the sunroof. Look, 95% of my customers choose the money, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd love to have some cash. Yeah, so when, guys, when you look at the bigger picture, Andy, going with this car today, not only gets you the vehicle that you love, but also saves you a ton of money as well. Yeah, yeah, but I really wanted the sunroof though. Okay, how many how many times a day would you use the sunroof? Well, I wouldn't use the sunroof every day. I'd probably maybe use it twice a month. Okay, would you agree if you don't use something that much, I mean, you know, 2020 technology, if you don't use technology, they say don't keep a car in the garage if it's not running, am I right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, do you want it to break down? Look, the average repair cost on the sunroof, $2,000. So I know you think that sunroof only cost you two grand today, but it really cost you four grand. And I know obviously your time is important to you, and you don't want to become an in and out of the service department for a silly sunroof, am I right? Yeah. Of course not. Hey, listen, I kind of stumped him there a little bit. He, he got me. He hey, got me. He didn't expect me to say that, okay? The idea of it is this, is that, look, hey, look, the sunroof's got to cost about a $2,000 option, all right? What would you rather have, $2,000 cash in the bank or a sunroof on your car? Which one? And guess what? And if they say, well, I'd rather have two grand cash, you could say, great, because that's what you're getting, and the car doesn't have the sunroof, so yeah, you don't have to pay extra for it. Guess what? Here's your car. If they don't, and they say, well, I'd rather have the sunroof. I, I really love the sunroof. Well, okay. I understand that. Awesome. So now they're not choosing the money. They're choosing the center. Say, Hey, how often do you use the center? Let, let, let's say they say, well, well I, don't, I don't use it very often. I maybe mm -hmm. use it twice a month. Mm -hmm. I just like to have it when I want it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, so the way it works, right? The reason why people don't leave cars sitting in their, in their garage when they have an extra third car, they have mm -hmm. to keep it out and driving it mm -hmm. is because when you stop driving, what happens? All the hoses and all that stuff dry up, yep. they crack, the car breaks down, it doesn't work. The same thing <laughs> happens with your sunroof when you don't use it a lot. Okay. So you don't use it, it breaks. You know what it costs to repair a sunroof, a factory one, especially now in 2020 with the sensors in them and stuff? Mm -hmm. Guess what it is? It's about $2,000. So now it's not really a $2,000 sunroof, it's a $4,000 sunroof, plus time and inconvenience in the service drive. Yeah. Guess what? Because your sunroof don't work. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, do I really want a sunroof now? Hold on. How often do you do your sun? How, how, how often do you use your sunroof? I use it every single oh, day. Oh, I use it every single day. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, look, cars are made now with 14,000 working pieces on a machine and over 500 sensors on most of them. Okay. Those sunroofs, when you use them every day, would you agree the more you use something, the more likely it is a break? Yeah. Now I'm reversing it. 
And I say, okay, cool. So we're going to be using it every day, 365 days in a year. I mean, man, you're really moving that sunroof a lot. Would you agree? <laughs> moving it back and forth with that button a lot. Whenever it breaks, it's going to be expensive, expensive to fix. Yeah, that sounds fair. It's a hole in the roof. <laughs> you know what that means? That means a sunroof that we thought was going to cost you 2000 is now going to cost you 4000 And guess what happens? You're going to have to go put it in the shop. It'll probably take them a week or two to fix. You're going to have to stick it. Man, heck, you're going to have to drive around with the sunroof not open and closing. Mm -hmm. I've heard so many nightmare stories on sunroofs and what they cost. Mm -hmm. You haven't had that story yet, but the first time you do, you'll never have one again. And the fact is that you're using it every day. This is going to be something that we know that you're going to have to repair, not something that we're guessing. It's not a matter of if it breaks, it's when it breaks. And when it does, it's going to cost two Gs. That's a $4,000 sunroof. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't rather choose the car without the sunroof when we can just roll the windows down? Hell, we got sunroofs on both sides, <laughs> right? Hey, yeah. hey, guys, go with it, man. Don't ever, okay, don't ever not be relentless. And by the way, am I being pushy? No, man, I'm smiling. My eyes are smiling. My body language, I'm working it, and I'm staying engaged with them. Yes. Guys, with that being said, listen, man, Ryan Brunton, good job, dude. Hey, if you like the video, comment below, share it with a friend. Let me know if you want more role play videos. If you do, I'll give them to you, okay? Yeah. He'll bust by, me up all day. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, hey, how do you do? How do you do? Comment below. Know. Hey, and by the way, hey, share this with a buddy. And if you did like it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate you. Keep up the training. Text us, guys. Rock and roll. Join us at Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation on Facebook. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones, and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just want to tell you, number one, I appreciate you, and anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free. It takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below, too, and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.